Hi gorgeous people, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new and you've just joined me, I don't know how you found me, but I really hope you decide to stay, subscribe and join my little YouTube community. And if you're an OG and a subscriber joining me for yet another video, I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video guys, I'm super, super excited. I'm really excited to be sharing some vegan breakfast recipes. So this is a day through one to seven what I have for breakfast. And so I really, really hope you guys enjoy it. Please get some inspiration and go ahead and make some of these quarantine vegan breakfast ideas. If you try them out, please let me know in the comment section down below without further ado let's get into the video so for breakfast i like to have bagels on an easy day with a cup of tea so i'm going to open up the bagel and i'm going to spread one half with peanut butter and jam and the other half with just plain butter So next up I'm going to make my tea. I have been using a tea strainer for quite a while now. I really really like it. Not only is it better for the environment because there's less waste and there's less plastic going into your tea, so microplastics. It's also so much fresher and it tastes so so good and you can just throw it away or compost it when you're done and the tea tastes so so good. So I'm going to pour some hot water into my mug like so and then going to carefully strain it, take it out and leave it to one side and then pour in my soy milk and mwah, enjoy my tea. So for today's breakfast, I'm going to be making some porridge and fruit. So I've poured a small amount of oats into a Pyrex style glass and I've poured in a tiny amount of oat milk and then I'm just going to chuck it in the microwave for about a minute to a minute and a half, two minutes. It depends on your microwave and the strength of it. Once I've taken it out, I'm then going to transfer it into my bowl like so and add some freshly cut strawberries that I did earlier on. I'm then going to add some raisins to my bowl. I really like raisins. I think they taste so good and they're great in the cupboard because they last so long, especially during quarantine time. So it's good to have some dried fruit. Next up, I'm going to make my coffee. Now, if you don't like coffee, you can skip this step, but I really, really like coffee. So I'm going to be using some instant dark roast coffee, some hazelnut syrup and some soya milk. So it depends on how strong you like your coffee but I'm going to put about one teaspoon of instant coffee into my mug and then going to add quite a generous heap of hazelnut syrup probably around two to three sloshes something like that I try not to get too trigger happy with it after that I'm going to add some hot water and then I'm going to mix it together and then the magic starts to happen so after I've poured in my hot water, I stir it really, 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 really quickly around just because I want everything to melt in super beautifully together and for the coffee to melt in, I hate lumpy bits of my coffee. I then add my soya milk and we are nearly finished with this breakfast. It's so, so good. I love syrupy coffee and I just love porridge because it fills me up for so long and I love fresh fruit on the side. So this was a perfect breakfast. So I've never actually tried the Richmond meat-free sausages before. It's actually very new for them because usually they do meat-only ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sausages in the oven and then I'm going to make a bagel sandwich for breakfast with them. So once I've left the sausages cooking in the oven for about 22 minutes, I'm going to start on the prep for my sausage bagel. And for this, I'm gonna use some vegan cheese, some vegan butter, I've got some vegan bagels, I've got some spinach and some cherry tomatoes, which I'm now gonna prep. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice the bagel in half and then chuck it into the toaster. I'm then gonna grab my cherry tomatoes and slice them into small circles or small little halves. Once I've got the bagel out of the toaster, I'm then gonna lightly butter it with some vegan butter. I use Vitalite, but again, you can use whatever one you like. 
After I've lightly buttered both sides of my bagel, I'm then going to insert some vegan cheese alongside the bottom of the bagel just to give it a really juicy and like flavoursome rich flavour. I've then taken the vegan sausages out of the oven and then I'm going to start to slowly cut them into small sizeable chunks so that I can layer it at the bottom of my bagel. Once I've done that, I'm then going to slowly start to build my bagel with some spinach and with some tomatoes. Once I'd finished building my bagel, I decided it needed some sauce, so I added some classical barbecue sauce and it was unbelievable and tasted so, so good. And then the magic happened. I put them both together and began to eat it and it was unbelievable. I hope you guys tried this recipe, it was so good. So to make the waffles today for my breakfast, I've got about five ounces of self-raising flour, I've got some brown cane sugar, I've got some vanilla extract, I've got about 300 milliliters of soya milk, I've got salt, I've got coconut oil and I've also got this Pyrex jar, you can use whatever you can. I'm slowly going to mix all these ingredients together to make my waffle batter. So I've got my five ounces of plain flour, after that I'm going to put about a quarter table spoon of salt in and I'm going to mix my dry ingredients together like so. Make sure I'm getting a good whisk in there. Now after that I'm going to go in with about three tablespoons sugar. If your sugar's rough, don't worry, just get all up in there. Now after I've done that, I'm then going to go in with two tablespoons of Madagascan vanilla extract. Again, you can use whatever you want, but I'm going to go in with this one. And after that, I'm slowly going to start to pour a little bit of my soy milk. So I'm going to pour in about 150 millilitres first and see what kind of consistency I get. And then I'll keep mixing, mixing, mixing. Usually I have my batter quite thick, but today I'm going for quite a thin look. So I'm just going to mix that all in together. Once it was ready, I then took it out of the waffle machine and oh my goodness, it looks so, so good. I decided to really treat myself, so I went and got some Oreos and crushed them all over the waffle because I fancied having a really chocolatey and treaty type of breakfast. So once I'd sprinkled all the Oreos on top, I then decided I was going to add a little bit more indulgence to my breakfast. And so I added some vegan whipped cream. I then decided that wasn't enough and I needed to add some chocolate sauce. So I then went and added some chocolate sauce and I also went and added some strawberries on top and oh my goodness it was unbelievable so for today's breakfast I didn't fancy doing anything too crazy so I decided to just pop some pills just kidding I decided to take some supplements and just do a really basic smoothie so I don't actually show me taking supplements but I do take supplements very regularly I take b12 which is super important I take vitamin d3 and I also take some bone and calcium supplements so first things first I decided to start prepping for my smoothie so first thing I decided to prep was the banana so I took off the skin of the banana and started to cut it up into small little chunks after I'd finished cutting up the banana, I then went ahead and started cutting up my strawberries into fine little pieces. After I had finished prepping my bananas and my strawberries, I then went ahead and grabbed my vegan soya yogurt. It's just plain Alpro soya yogurt. You can use whatever brand you choose. After I'd finished doing that, I then added all my fruits to my blitzer. Again, you can use a juicer, fruit processor, whatever you have, but anything that's going to blend up the fruits for you. I then added two tablespoons of cane sugar and then one tablespoon of chai seeds as they're a great source of protein and then blitzed it all up and boy was I excited. So for today's breakfast, I'm going to be having something super simple and super easy. I'm going to be having some maple and pecan nut rolled oat cereal. I'm going to be teaming that with some soy milk. Sometimes I like to have cereal because it's super easy and just super convenient. And this one has no artificial flavorings and colorings and it's actually relatively healthy. 
I'm gonna be having some plain hot water with that just to help my digestive system and it's gonna be a super chilled and easy breakfast. So for today we're going to be making some vegan breakfast, we're going to be making an English breakfast pickup. So I've got some soft tiger bread, I've got some cherry tomatoes, I've got some spinach, I've got some firm tofu, some mushrooms, some turmeric, some paprika, some crushed chilies, some pepper, some salt and some baked beans and I've also got sausages. So we're going to get into creating a beautiful vegan English breakfast with some tofu scrambled. So after I've cut up the tiger loaf into smaller slices, I'm then gonna start prepping my vegetables. So I've got some spinach, some mushrooms, and some tomatoes. Once I've sliced them all up, I'm then gonna put the mushrooms into a wok with some oil. I'm then gonna slowly wait for that to roast and cook before mixing in the rest of the ingredients. After I allowed the mushrooms to saute for around 30 seconds to a minute, I then added the firm tofu into the mixture. I then seasoned my tofu with some salt, I also added some black pepper, I added some turmeric and I also added in some paprika. Once I'd mixed that all in, I then started to stir it around until I was happy with the consistency and the colour. After I'd mixed that around for a short while, I then added the spinach and I also started to slowly add in the cherry tomatoes and stir that around until I was happy with it. After I'd finished adding in all my ingredients and stirring it around until it was cooked thoroughly, I then started to plate up my food. I then took the tiger bread, popped it in the toaster and lightly buttered it. I then added in my vegan sausages and finally my baked beans and mwah, my beautiful breakfast was done. So angels, that concludes the end of this YouTube video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe and share. And if you do try any of these recipes, please let me know in the comment section down below. And also let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see in the next video stay safe and i love you guys and thanks for watching take care